Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Unplugged Book Box unboxing. With Unplugged, you can get young adult or adult fiction books. It's $39.99 a month, plus you do have to pay shipping to get it. And each box you will have a newly released book plus bookish goodies and self-care goodies. So it will be a combination of all of those. Before we get into what we have in this February box, I want to share with you this box, which I think this is the Missing Grinch Bath Bomb from the Little Nightmares unboxing that I did. Um, it was a special edition box that Unplugged had, and you can click up there and go watch it if you wanna go see everything else that came in that Little Nightmares box. It was a really cute box. There was only like one or two items that I wasn't like super thrilled with, but everything else was really great. Oh yeah, wow. That is a huge Grinch bath bomb. Look at that sucker. He is massive and so adorable. But Unplugged is very good about shipping out stuff. If it for some reason can't make it into a box, they will ship it for free or they'll add it to your next month's subscription if you're still subscribed, whichever way works best for them. And I guess for them, shipping it separately was the best way. It is kind of a heavy little bath bomb dude. I am just gonna leave him just right over here to the side and remember that he did not come in the February box. He was part of a totally different thing that arrived just kind of later. Now I wanna see which box I have here because I don't know if this is the adult or the young adult. I do get both of them, but so far only one of them has arrived. This is what the inside of the box looks like. As part of their green initiative, they have gone to digital spoilers. They feel like the pamphlets often get thrown away, which I actually keep theirs because I like the journal prompts and the recipes that come with them, but we're supposed to be able to scan this and still have access to their spoiler card plus everything else. So let's see what it looks like. Please click on the box you have received. I have no idea which box I received because I get both of them. Well, let's click on the adult one and see. Oh, I was correct. It is the adult book. The February adult fiction theme was on edge. It says, welcome Welcome to our first month, including digital spoilers. We hope that you're excited about this change. Reducing waste is very important to us and we plan to find creative ways to be as green as we can. We're doing a trial run on the digital spoilers, so if you find most of you enjoy the change, it will become permanent. If not, we'll return to using pamphlets later in the year. With that said, below you can find all the spoilers with photo challenge for the box, as well as links to our monthly recipe and journal prompts. So I am glad to hear that they are still going to continue with the journal prompts in the monthly recipe. I don't like that we don't get that part to keep, like if they did away with the digital spoilers, but still sent an actual card for the recipe and the journal prompts, I would appreciate that more. So I wouldn't constantly have to look it back up digitally. I like to keep recipes on hand and journal prompts are good to keep on hand too. I can see why it's good to do it digitally, but we'll check it out. Let's start with the box first. Oh, okay. Looks like we have a glass, pretty thick glass. It says coffee on it. I don't know that I would use it as a coffee mug. I just usually glasses like this, I typically don't put coffee in it, but it does say coffee on it. I cannot bear this world a moment longer without coffee. The design is really unique. I wonder if it has something to do with the theme or style of the book that we have going on today. Glass exterior and a different kind of caramely color that makes the glass more insulated and it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. Circa inspired cold brew glass. Okay, so it does make sense for cold brew coffee, which is actually something that my husband drinks a lot. He actually just put his little cold brew container in the fridge the other night so that he would wake up and have cold coffee in the morning. This exclusive cold brew coffee glass is loosely inspired by Madeline Miller's Circa, or Circe. I don't know which way it's pronounced. It can be used to drink any cold beverage and is part of our Cafe Unplugged collection series. It was designed by at tiapical.ghost for this box. Let's check out the candle. Ooh, it's nice and purple. That's a beautiful color. The distance is nothing when one has a motive. Pride and Prejudice themed candle. It says the Pemberley Estate on the front. I do like that you can see the Pemberley Estate on the candle so it isn't just words. You get to see a little bit of a picture. It makes it a little bit more recognizable. And the purple is just very, very pretty. I love like the lilac color candle that they have going on here. It's something different and something that would stand out on the shelves. I forgot that this is the next candle in the Seven Deadly Sins 
collection. Oh, okay, that makes sense. It's the essence of pride from Pride and Prejudice. I do remember last month's candle actually had uh, sloth or something written on it. Totally makes sense to go with Pride and Prejudice. Next. Oh. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, there's multiple. There's multiple, there's multiple, I don't know. Okay, looks like they all say the same thing. They look like little towels. They look too big to be a washcloth. The truth is never horrible, only interesting. Does have a map of London from 1898 to 1899. Interesting choice, I don't know why they went with this one. Agatha Christie dish towels. These exclusive dish towels have a quote from Agatha Christie's black coffee. They are designed to dry dishes and be used in place of paper towels. But the best part is you can simply wash it and reuse it. This is part of the Unplugged Green Initiative line, which I like that we got a bunch of them. So they're not actually the size of some of the other dish towels that we normally receive. These are smaller than a regular dish towel, but there's so many of them, seven of them, seven different dish towels. They all have the same design, and it is something that I would use because my dishwasher, it doesn't even dry everything all the way, especially if it's not like glass. So I always have to hand dry them after they've been washed in the dishwasher. I will enjoy adding this to my collection, and I do think it is something that I will get use out of. Next, there is Verity Bubble Elixir peppermint mocha and cream scent that does sound like it would smell good i don't like to eat peppermint but i do like to smell peppermint wash away all the feelings of being on edge with this exclusive shower gel bubble elixir inspired by colleen hoover's verity it can be used as a bubble bath or shower gel it was made by fiction bath company so i have heard of the book of verity in fact someone that i know personally is reading the book Verity. But it's funny for me, every time I hear the name Verity, I only think of the character that was in one of the books that I already previously read. I've never actually read the book Verity, but I do like the scent. All right, is there anything else? We do have this little peppermint magic. It says beeswax. Is this like a balm or is this another perfume? Practical Magic Peppermint Solve. This exclusive solve can be used to help with sore muscles or be rubbed on your temples to help soothe a headache. It has great benefits. It's inspired by Alice Hoffman's Practical Magic and was made by Etsy.com shop Pure Earth Soap Works. Okay, so this one is a solve. It's not one of the peppermint, not peppermint, one of the perfume bombs. You gotta pay close attention to those labels because now that they're gonna be putting perfume in like balm form, you gotta make sure that you use the stuff the way that it says to use it. Time for the book. Her Buried Lives by Caitlin L. Duncan. Some family secrets should stay hidden. It does have painted pages. It almost looked like ink splots or paint splots, but on the inside, it looks like we have some trees, maybe a forest with more ink or paint splots. It does have a dust jacket, guys. The dust jacket has a sad little girl on it. And before I put it back on, I'll show you what the cover of the book looks like. This one, it looks like you see someone walking with a shovel. Oh, it's the same front and back. It is the exact same picture. The inside of the book, I don't know what this design is. It's just like little specks of gold or little dots all over the place. And I wanna check to see it is signed by the author. For fans of deeply layered thrillers by Alice Feeney, Lisa Jewell, and Katherine Ryan Howard. So this sounds like it's gonna be a thriller. This is a perfect read for anyone who loves twisted psychological thrillers filled with long buried secrets and unreliable characters. I loved every minute of it. My favorite books always contain small towns, creepy houses, or overall unsettling vibes. This book had all those things wrapped up into one thrilling package. So definitely a thriller, which makes me excited. Can the sounds of the past dictate your future? For as long as she can remember, Jenny Miller has experienced intense, intrusive visions. Plagued by graphic mental images of death and harm, Jenny is constantly on edge, always fighting to stay on the plane of reality until she gets one chance to learn if anyone else in her family suffered the same. When Jenny and her mother travel to a rural town to sell their legacy home, 
Evidence of the past surrounds them and forces concealed secrets to the surface. But the more Jenny digs, the more she entrenches herself in a sordid past. Soon after finding a hidden journal filled with disturbing messages, a local goes missing and the suspicions of the town's sheriff turn toward Jenny and her mother. To prove their innocence, Jenny needs to come face to face with a killer who is more like her than she ever wanted. With the clock ticking, can Jenny withstand her visions long enough to uncover the truth and save herself? Content Guidance. This novel explores aspects of psychological and mental health and contains depictions of kidnapping, homicide, and female fertility. Please read with care. I do like that they put the little notice down there. That way people know before they, you know, really get into a book if it's going to have some really dark things in it. I can see why they went with the theme of on edge. Now, as far as the items being on edge, the Agatha Christie thing, like I totally get that one being a part of this theme. I get the Pride and Prejudice candle for the sake of their seven deadly sins, but I don't know how it works with this book and the theme just yet. Same thing with the coffee mug. I'd have to read the book to see how all the rest of it connects, but I do like the items. As a recap, I did get this cold coffee cup, Pride and Prejudice candle, her buried lives, seven reusable dishcloths that are inspired by Agatha Christie, bubble elixir or shower gel, you can use it as either, and then this peppermint solve. Real quick, I'm gonna see if I can pull up the recipe or the journal prompts. It says click here for journal prompts for when you're feeling anxious. How does your anxiety make you feel mentally other than you know anxious? Where does anxiety show up in your body? How does it make you physically feel right now or in general? List the best case scenario that could happen based on what you're anxious about. Is this maybe just as likely as the worst case scenarios? How would you feel if things fell somewhere in the middle? I'll leave the picture up there so you guys can read all of them if you want to. That was just a little bit of the journal prompts. And then for the recipe, Parmesan asparagus fries. I have never had Parmesan asparagus fries. Wow. Like an asparagus is kind of one of those things where you like either like it or you don't. And I do like some of it. I just don't like how sometimes it can be stringy. So maybe that's just based on how it's cooked. I would be curious to explore what Parmesan and asparagus like taste together. The picture looks really delicious, so they did a good job with that. That was it for this month's Adult Fiction Unplugged Book Box. Let me know what you thought of the book and the items that came along with it. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye everyone.